What is going on dudes, Lebens Mute here. Today I'm going to show you the class created by Zrexen, the Void Knight class. The link to the Steam page will be in the description below. Most of the skills can only be used with a melee weapon, and the class has physical damage only. It scales off of the primary weapon stat you're using, so if you, you're wanting to include a staff in this build with intelligence, you finally can. You're able to transform into a giant void dragon and gain several new skills to use. Finally, you can live out your fantasy of becoming a dragon. You get all of the class skills by level 13, so around mid act 2. I'll show you how to make a character with the starting class. When selected, the class requires one point in Scoundrel and the rest will require Warfare. The damage is physical and scales with Warfare. Torture is a decent talent to take since it allows you to apply the bleed effect through armor. The class introduces new mechanics with empowerment and void marks. I've included the tips provided by the skill vendor here. Void marks are stacks that are applied through your abilities and debuff the enemy, while empowerment is available at 4 void mark stacks and has additional benefits to you. There are 22 skills to show, so let's get to it. Void Daggers and Void Trespass are good skills to use together, as the bleed effect allows you to weaken the enemy if they have no physical armor. The Summon Shadow ability is useful to the player, as it has increased health and can apply stacks of Void Marks to enemies to allow for empowerment. Once you feel like you're done with it, you can sacrifice it for a large increase in both physical and magical armor plus the Magic Shell and Fortified buff.
Osmosis is a tough skill to use without being a lone wolf, but it executes an enemy below 25% health or below 50% health if they have 4 stacks of void marks. If you fail to execute them, they regain health and gain haste. The Void Dragon form requires 3 source points and grants 5 new skills to use while it is active for 3 turns. Normal skills can still be used in this form with greater effects from the damage boost. A pretty strong combo would be to use Apotheosis to allow you to enter Dragon form then use other source abilities and skills. Overall, the class is very strong and synergizes well with almost any melee build, including rogue builds. It is limited primarily to melee weapons, so ranged weapons or magic won't be able to use most of the skills. The class utilizes debuffs and has many ways to apply them to enemies. It provides crowd control options and more ways to knock down, push away, or even pull in enemies. This class brings a lot to the table and adds extra flair to melee damage builds to bully your enemies into submission. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. If you have another class or mod you would like covered, leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.